Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Network Merchandise Shop. Pick up your logo merchandise by heading over to abvnetwork.com, clicking on shop, and start filling your basket today. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for something for yourself, a customized gift, or logoed items for your business gift shop, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. That's the number two in the bar to go. Don't forget our friends at Neely Family Distillery now ship their unique distilled spirits directly to you. To order yours, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we continue our Getting to Know the ABB Network Saturday series, where I interview Steve about something new happening at the ABB Network. But today, Steve flips the script and interviews me about Stello Mints, our new sponsor. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley. Hey, McNew. What's up? Hey, Steve. Hey, all. So we're going to have a fun show today. We're going to be talking about Stella Mints, the new sponsor to the ABV Network, specifically the Bourbon Show, our sister show. But we want to uh, focus and highlight uh, what's going on with them. And uh, we also got a deal for you, the listeners, as well, if you want to check out their product. Should be fun. We'll get to that, though, after the break. For right now, McNew, something I want to talk to you about. It's a pressing uh, issue that we need to that needs to be dealt with. Why don't you like coffee? What is the deal with that? How come you don't drink coffee? I don't like hot drinks. I don't like hot chocolate. <laughs> There's something about a hot, hot tea. Tea, that, hot tea. I don't like tea either. Like it's something that just my brain cannot accept a hot drink. I can't do it. <laughs> what about when you're cold? Does it, you never, you know, say you're out outside doing, I don't know, walking in the snow or setting up, you like Christmas decorations. I and mean, you could get in a cold snap. You're like, well, I got to get this. You, so you could be very cold or maybe taking down the stuff at the end of the year. You're cold. It doesn't feel good to come inside and drink a nice warm drink. No, you can have like a high proof bourbon or something. I don't want something <laughs> hot, hot. <laughs> so it's more of the heat, heat thing. That's, that's, that's yeah, really, I don't think the, there's going to be oh, any way. Okay. I was going to have some suggestions to get you to like no, coffee, but so I if it's a heat thing, like I can't, I can't get around that. Yeah. Cold brew coffee. I actually kind of enjoy a little bit. I, it's uh-huh. not like an everyday thing for me. I never got into it, but if it's like an iced coffee or something, Mostly if it has a lot of mixers in it and has like a lot of chocolate crap, I like it. But because it's cold, I just cannot do hot drinks. That's weird. What about uh, what about soup? Do you do you like soup? Don't get me started. I hate soup. I hate all soups. I don't do soup. <laughs> it's basically just a hot drink. So I would assume if you don't like a hot drink, you wouldn't so like soup. So I'm actually glad to hear that. My mom had this thing when we were sick. It was like chicken noodle soup. And now I'm like, I'm not a sick person. Why the hell would we eat soup today? Like, I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These things used to be, yes, the standard. I, I remember, you know, when you're sick, you know, your mom would give you a chicken noodle soup or like seven up. We, uh, we wouldn't really, we weren't seven up drinkers, but my mom would have some, if someone had uh, upset somebody to be like, well, I don't, what good does that do? What good does a seven up do you? When no, you're sick? No, it was my grandma did it. My mom did it. It was like seven up chicken <laughs> like little saltine crackers. That's all you were getting for yeah. the day. <laughs> I'm like, I can't seven up is now. still out there. Just barely. They need to really focus in on this medicinal thing where it's like, if you're sick, drink a seven up because I think that could bring them back. Cause uh, obviously you know a lot of people they, were sick. They could convince people it's good for hangovers too, because remember Pedialyte, the kids drink, right? It's for hungover people, and they started marketing like that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they need to do that. That would be that would be big for them. I mean, why not? Their market shares dropped to almost nothing. I don't, you know, yeah, um, they they don't advertise anymore. They don't do anything. No, they just they used to have real cute commercials. I remember a Christmas commercial when I was a kid. The little red dots. Yeah, the dot. I think his name around. was Dot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they used to they used to be a player in the soda business. They're definitely not a player anymore. They used to be. Uh, they were St. Louis based, by the way. That was the St. Oh, Louis okay. seven up. Yeah, which was cool. But well, I don't know where they are now. I have no idea. 
Yeah. There's, there's a distribution center near my parents that's set there, it up. It's small. Yeah. It's very small. Yeah. 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 They're just like, like I said, you, you can find them on the shelf, but I just don't hear anybody drinking it. And I have, when's the last time I've had a seven up? Ooh, that's been, I don't even know over 30 years. Know. I would guess it's I been forever. <laughs> bought, I don't think I've bought one in my adult life. To be yeah. Honest. Yeah. Huh. Poor seven up. We, we need to, uh, we need to help them. <laughs> it's a good company. Seven up, hey, you want to sponsor us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we're talking about a new sponsor. We need to get Seven Up to sponsor the show. Yeah, brought to you by Seven Up. <laughs> seven Up, yeah. that. Yeah, they then they used to have even even the whiskey that they were associated with Seagram Seven is also died too. Oh, yeah. seven, seven and Seven, seven used to be so a thing. Yeah. There- there's this website called save the dive bar and they make t-shirts that say seven and seven. And I have one. <laughs> oh, do you? So yeah. there you go. Yeah. 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 Okay. That that's probably the last time I drank seven up. If you include that and that would have been, you know, uh, college years drinking seven and sevens. So, been a while. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's been a long time. <laughs> so, huh. Interesting. All right. Well, Guess what? It's time to drink now. Uh, if you've got a seven up, feel free to drink it. If not, let's talk about what, <laughs> what booze we're drinking. All right. Uh, I have what, a what Weller. It's just a screw oh. top. Wait, how, where did you get that? We, we, it's been here a while, Steve. Oh, that's going to be on Bottle Kills soon, folks. Coming soon to Bottle Kills. There's not much left there. Yeah. All right. I've got uh, Barrel Bourbon. This is the uh, New Year pick So from uh, 2021. Oh this year so here we go there you go i win because you, you had a screw cap <laughs> there you go cheers mcdew all right cheers steve all right what we'll do next we'll take a quick break and then when we come back we're going to talk about stello mints we'll do that in just a few Hello, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, and I'm excited to announce a brand new partnership with Leatherwood Distillery in Pleasant View, Tennessee. Many of you have perhaps heard of Leatherwood via our co-host on the Bourbon Daily, Kelly Baker, who works there. Well, they are now an official sponsor of the network, and we look forward to everyone getting to know a little bit more about them. Company founder Andrew Lang brought his brewing and distilling hobby with him during his years of service as a Green Beret in the United States Army. Whether he was at his home base of Fort Campbell or during tours of duty in places like Italy or Afghanistan, Lang distilled whatever was available to him locally. We are excited about getting to know Andrew Lang and his team better via our programming and are planning a trip down there for the ABV Network crew very soon. In the meantime, check them out at leatherwooddistillery.com where they will ship bottles directly to you, including their special Remembering 9-11 series, which is raising money for military charities. Seriously, get out there, buy some bottles, help a good cause, and let us know what you think. We're really excited about this partnership. Hello, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, and let's talk for a moment about our sponsors, the people that make this show happen. First up is our friends at Moonshine University. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification at their office in Louisville. The information I learned through lead instructor Colin Blake and their team there is something that I continue to draw upon frequently in my role at the ABV Network. It truly is the standard of establishing a benchmark of knowledge of the bourbon industry. From history to production to brands and people, it's all there. Check out their full listing of programs, including Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, production classes if you're considering starting a distillery, and much more at moonshineuniversity.com. I also want to talk about Neely Family Distillery. Back in May of 2018, I met Royce Neely at Limestone Branch's Craft Bourbon Festival. It ended up not only being the start of a great friendship, I started to truly learn about what makes craft whiskey so amazing. You see, I had been a bourbon drinker for over 30 years at that point, and like many people who had been drinking bourbon a long time, I was hard-coded into thinking big bourbon was where it was at and craft was on a journey to get there. Spending time with Royce and learning the things he does to make his whiskey taste better started to really get me to appreciate how things like sweet mashing, Open top fermentation, pot distillation, and the grains you are using not only makes your product taste better coming off the still, but also out of the barrel as well. I still love heritage brands and they make up a bulk of my collection. But when you find a craft distiller that is truly dedicated to the craft of distilling, you are drinking some of the best whiskey out there on the market today. That's exactly what's happening at Neely Family Distillery today. Check them out on the web at neelyfamilydistillery.com or better yet, stop by and see them at their distillery in Sparta, Kentucky. And now, back to the show. Hello. 
This is Matt Rainey, and you are listening to The Bourbon Daily. One day when I grow up, I'm going to grow a big boy beard, just like Colonel Steve. Welcome back to The Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about Stella Mints. Yes, we are. So Stella Mints sponsors The Bourbon Show, and uh, we also uh, have them at the end of your show, too. Bottle Kills, right, McNeil? Yep. Yeah. 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 So they sent out uh, samples of their product to you. It's made with hemp. So that's, that's interesting, right? It is, it is, but it's still a hundred percent THC. If you know, you live in a state and need to be employed, but uh, yeah, so correct, correct. completely THC, but yes, made with hemp extracts. Hemp extracts. Okay. So, so, and what does it say on their packaging? Like this should help you out with uh, being um, made with hemp. It doesn't really, they sent this cute little envelope with it. I actually love their packaging. Like, okay. With- so it's so pretty and blue and I just want to go to a lake or a beach when oh, I look at it. Lighten up, it says. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. And then they have this little dude in a rowboat. Like he just looks happy. I want to be as happy as oh, that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but the little card they sent says, meet your new favorite sidekick. Stella Mintz gives you a quick, calm on the go, whether you are stuck in LA style traffic or spending the weekend knee deep in spreadsheets. Hashtag and lighten up. Okay. So You've tried this and what, what are your thoughts? First of all, yeah. let's talk just from a taste standpoint, because it is a mint. You want to, you want it to taste good. You don't want it to taste artificial or anything like that. Some, some mints uh, miss the point on the flavor. How'd they do? Yeah. So I think they have three different flavors. They sent me like the original mint flavor okay. and it is delicious. Like it is like, just like a little zingy, a little minty, like you'd want it to be. They did a great job with that. Okay. So, and the suggestion is that you would have one of those a day, I guess, right? I believe so. Yeah. Kind of like an afternoon pick me up or an afternoon okay. fill out for a minute. Okay. Yeah. So you've taken it. Did, did you notice any difference in yourself uh, or your reaction to people after that? Or are you, are you nicer after you uh, have these bins? I think like in the moment I had it because like it's, it is flavorful but not overpowering. So you actually like pay attention to it when it's in your mouth, if that makes sense. Uh Right. Yeah. It distracts you a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then uh, were you nicer to Chris after? uh... (laughs) Yeah. I made him try him too. (laughs) Okay. Okay. And (laughs) And what did he think? Did he like it? Yeah. We both like them. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So it's a, a, and like I said, it's probably worth trying. Would you suggest that the audience, uh, you know, would, would like these and, and uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah, I think so. And some people aren't meant people, right. But they also have a lemon flavor. You could try the lemon ones. Cause those sound mm-hmm. great too. Okay. That's cool. So, and they've got a deal going. So it's stellomints.com and uh, then they'll ask you for a coupon code and you can put in their ABV network and that'll give you 50, 15% off. So yep. a pretty good deal. Again, stellomints.com ABV network is the coupon code 15% off with that coupon code. Pretty cool stuff, McNeil. So there you go. Check it out, right? Yep. Go, go get some. Go for it. All right. We'll wrap this show up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. McNeil, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? I am on Instagram at McNewABB. All right. For me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. But the important website, those abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. We put all of our previous shows, our blogs, our shop is out there. So much more, abvnetwork.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABB network. All right. Great job today, McNew. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. And uh, of course, next week we'll be back where we talk uh, uh, getting to know the ABB network and we get into our Christmas virtual tasting. So we've got some fun ones coming up with that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Peace. Before we finish the show, let's chat for a moment about Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you just want to experiment on a small scale on the stove in your kitchen or try your hand at a bigger setup in the backyard, Moonshine Still Pro can help. 
They have different still offerings as well as accessories and even grains from Goldstone Mill to help you make whiskey on par with what you get from your favorite distillery. They can even assist with a DIY still project by supplying some of the parts you can't make yourself. Check them out at moonshinestillpro.com. At the ABV Network, we're lucky enough to have some great friends. Amongst those friends is the Goldstein family, owners of Goldstone Mill. Goldstone Mill is a full-service mill offering a variety of heritage and heirloom grains. Their unique approach of working with mills around the country allows them to offer you affordable shipping opportunities to meet the unique needs of your distillery or brewery. They will consult with you to ensure the grains you are selecting meets the unique flavor profiles you are looking for. If you are a home brewer or distiller and you're looking for the grains that your local distillery or brewery uses, Goldstone Mill is the place to look. Check them out on the web at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or shoot them an email at hello at goldstonemill.com. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.